Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the Newington Ice Arena here in Newington, Connecticut. That's right, we're coming to you from the road. Today, the Trojans are facing off against Avon, Southington, East Granby, and Ram. Not a lot of folks know, but uh, hockey is an expensive sport. And with that being said, a lot of the towns have to get together in order to field the team. The Rams are coming at us with a one-win, two-loss record. They won uh, 2 nothing over Stamford and recently lost 5-1 to one to Hall and Connard and 4-2 to two to the Suffield Wildcats. This is also their first game. With that being said, it's our first road game. And like I said, coming to you from the road. And we're very excited about being able to do that for you. The Trojans are coming off of a win at the ISCC this past week with a 3-2 to two victory over the Eagles of East Catholic. What to look for today? You want to look for great hockey coming to you from uh, Kate Worley, who has been a superstar so far, and playmaker uh, three, two, one, Grace Melanson, as well as defensive power from Mackenzie Lynch, and of course the backstop with the freshman goaltender Tori Lacroix. We're going to be getting underway in just a few moments here as the girls are getting ready to take the ice. We are here in Newington, and you're watching SCTV Sports. All right, once again, good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the Newington Ice Arena. Today we are coming to you from the road as the Nighthawks of... Yeah, we, that's, we got the Nighthawks uh, from the Avon, Southington, East Granby, and Ram schools facing off against your Simsbury Trojans. The ref is checking the goaltenders. We're seeing if they're ready to go. The hands down, whistles blown, and the puck is dropped. We're underway. Face off is one back by Simsbury. Back to the point is Megan Stepka and the defensive zone with the puck. And she's immediately challenged by the Nighthawks, who have an opportunity to throw it on net, and it doesn't get all the way down. Broken up by Stepka. Now the puck up the board to Lauren Melanson. Melanson up to Grace Melanson. Melanson back in center ice here. It's different viewpoint that we have watching the game. We're a little bit closer to the ice here than we are at the ISCC. So we're also about 25 feet away from the glass, so it's kind of a strange angle to be watching the game for. Buck in the offensive zone and work down low. Grace Melanson trying to get it and does around the back. There are sticks down in front. Here's a pass out to Abby Harris who can't connect. Grace Melanson walks out front. A second shot and she scores! Grace Melanson buries it on a second second effort, second chance effort off of a pass by Abby Harris. We are just 56 seconds into the first period and the Trojans strike first. Off the faceoff, Simsbury wins it again. And this time it's Kate Worley with the puck. She gets, takes it down along the far side, just around the bottom of the circle. She's challenged behind the back of the net, and the puck pops out to the near side boards. Two on one initial opportunity by the Nighthawks is thwarted promptly by Mackenzie Lynch, who backhands the puck to the high, par high zone high defensive zone, and the pass was attended for Kelly Melanson, who loses it to the defenseman uh, Lanson on Avon. Buck is dumped in, and doesn't make it onto the goal. Mackenzie Lynch passes it back to her defensive partner, Lindsay Madigan. Madigan to Lynch, back to Madigan. Up to Melanson on the near boards. Melanson to Harris. Abby Harris now dumps the puck in. And Simsbury goes for a line change as the Nighthawks break the puck out. Simsbury again to control the puck in their own defensive zone, taking time to make sure they can do something with it properly. And the puck gets passed up to Melanson, who backhands it into the corner and chases after own play. Here's a pass out front. And it does not make it all the way through. Another opportunity this time by Lauren Melanson. Takes a shot and it's kicked away by the goaltender. Into the corner is Hildebrand. Hildebrand to the back of the net. It's being tied up around the back. It's tough to see from my vantage point right now. But Grace Melanson comes out with it. She takes it around the back net with a pass out front. Looking for her Hildebrand and it does not connect. And back down into the corner. Referee who is uh, late coming out to the start of this game. 
<laughs> couldn't quite get out of the way. Here's a drive from the point, and it rings off the post. A big shot by Megan Stepka and hits it right off the right side post. Simsbury now going for a full line change, full offensive line change. D stay out. Nighthawks attempt to break out pucks through neutral zone. Stepka passes it over to Claire Better. Better around the back of the net, back up to Stepka. Stepka to Worley. Worley challenged, but gets the puck up to Kaylee Melanson. Melanson with the puck around the back of the net on the far side. Worley there to help her out. Slight hook, but no call. Puck is capped in at the point and fired around the back of the net. There is a ton of open ice behind the nets in this rink. It's not quite as big as the Olympic sheet at the ISCC, but here's Lindsay Madigan now, and she loses control of the puck, and it's, oh, nope, kept in at the point for a brief second, and now the Nighthawks have a 3 one opportunity to hear they come over the blue line. Shot pass towards the far side, and it just goes wide of the net. And Simsbury tries to get the puck out of the zone, and does for a second. And brought back. We go D to D passing, and here we go. Slowing the game down. This is stuff that Coach Melanson talked about before the last game, about trying to slow the game down a little bit. We talked about that during the last broadcast, and that was a scenario right there that we just saw when Lindsay Madigan had the puck. Took her time on the back post, looking up to her defensive partner, Mackenzie Lynch, and slowed the game down. What that does when you slow that opportunity down is it opens up the players to get open on the ice, and it also draws the forwards in, which means if they're closer to you and you get the puck through, you've got open bodies on the far side. We've got, speaking of bodies, crashing down around the back of the net. And, I, well, let's see. That was uh, Lindsay Madigan that went down, but she's up, and everybody's back in play. Let's talk about the game at hand right now. At least Hildebrandt now with the puck. She skates out of the zone. She's got an opportunity. Three on two here for the Trojans. Puck over the line. Hildebrandt. She's got Melanson with her, and it's oh, it's broken up by Lanson of the Nighthawks. A D to D pass now. Stepka to Grace Melanson. Nice pass in the zone. And out comes the Nighthawks. Terry Bartko. You might recognize her at the ISC. She, she's a Northern Lights player, who, of course, they play their home games in Simsbury. The Nighthawks now, they're showing some signs of life as they got the puck around on the off in their offensive zone and making some passes happening. Here's a shot from the point, and it's blocked by Grace Melanson, but it goes right back out to the point. It has a second opportunity and a glove save by LaCroix. 9.07 here remaining in the first period. The score, Trojans 1, Nighthawks 0. You're watching SCTV Sports. All right, whistle blows, the puck is down, and once again, we are underway around the back of the net is Megan Stepka, who puts a backhanded pass up the middle, and this time is kept in by the Nighthawks, who get a uh, half-hearted shot towards the net. It doesn't make it all the way through. Or actually, it got all the way through, but doesn't go on goal. There's Kate Worley now. She's got a head of steam. She gets it up to Abby Harris. These two can really make things happen as they fly up the ice. Worley on the forehead. Ooh, dingle dangles, but this time it gets stuck in the skate of a Nighthawk forward, and here they come up the ice now. Great poke check right there by the Simsbury defenseman, and the puck is turned over in neutral zone, and here comes the Trojans. Kate Worley looking for somebody in the back at the point and uh, decides to put the puck in the corner because... She's out of gas, and it's time for a line change. Puck is stumped in. Hand goes up for a delayed offsides, but the Trojans tag up, and we're back and underway with no whistle blown. Through neutral zone, the Nighthawks. Are not, they really can't get things going here. It's a, the, a credit to the Trojan defense. Well, when I say that, there's a sloppy line change by the Trojans as the Nighthawks bring the puck into their offensive zone down around the back of the net. Here's a pass out front, and it kicked. Oh, what a nice play. I want to say that was Melanson. I don't think the shot actually got on net, uh, and it was broken up by the defenseman. If it did get on goal, it was a great save. And if it didn't, that was a great play by Grace Melanson, who was there to pick up, uh, for lack of better phrasing, the garbage in front of the net. And I don't mean the player. I mean just the play in general. Nighthawks with the puck in their defensive zone. Looking to go D to D, and they do, and they're breaking out now. Pass through the neutral zone. 
and the offensive zone right over the blue line and two steps behind the puck. Therefore, they are whistled down for an offsides. We're at 7.14 here in the first period, and we are coming to you from the Newington Ice Arena in Newington, Connecticut. It's the first road game for the Trojans this season, and ironically, it's the first home game for the uh, Ice Hawks, which, of which none of the teams that are part of this are from Newington, but that's okay. We talked about that in the pre-show. Around the back of that is Abby Harris. Harris passing it up to Mega Stepka. Stepka up to Kaylee Melanson, who's got the puck at center ice. She makes a move and uh, gets a little bit ahead of her, but as she would say on the stat sheet, gets a shot on goal. That one did make it all the way down. Right on the goaltender's uh, stick, she was laying on her stomach and covered the puck up for the whistle. These mid-afternoon games are... Uh, are kind of tricky to get to, especially when you're trying to get to the Hartford area. Here's a blast from the point by Megan Stepka, and it just goes wide. Kept in by Harris. Harris to Worley. Worley up front to Melanson, who shoots it. It just goes wide. Might have gotten tipped in front. A back out front, and this time she puts it home. Kaylee Melanson scores! A Trojans take a 2 to nothing lead, and that is a great effort by the forward line right there. By Kaylee Melanson finishing it after Kate Worley and Abby Harris kept the puck down deep in the zone. 6.34 here to go in the first. The Trojans are now up by two. Nighthawks win the faceoff. D to D. Through center ice. Over the blue line. Wrist shot over the net and out of play for the whistle. Might have got uh, Mackenzie Lynch's stick to deflect that play. Deflect, deflect the puck right out and over the glass for yet another whistle. Like I said, we're coming to you from the Newington Ice Arena here in Newington, Connecticut. This is a, a nice arena, very similar to that of the ISCC. They've got the two ice sheets here. And uh, the one thing I don't like about this, because we are so far away from the ice surface when we're trying to watch this game. And I guess, I don't, you know what, I don't know why they do it that way, but that's the way it's set up here, but here we are, and here comes Grace Melanson passing it up to Elise Hildebrand, who gets a shot on goal, and it's gloved down, actually is put right to the breadbasket of the Nighthawk goaltender for the whistle. The team's lined up for the faceoff in the far zone. The puck is dropped. Won by the Nighthawks. Kept in by Melanson. Melanson to Worley. Worley tried to backhand it to Melanson, and it gets through and onto a white stick. Nisbet around the back of her own net. Kept it at the point by Madigan. Down into the corner to Worley. Worley with the puck. Challenged in the near corner. Puck tied up in their skates. Melanson in there to help. Worley walks out. Passes it back to Madigan. Madigan at the point. Shoots it right into the, a body. Standing right in front of her. Ooh, there's a pass by Worley back to Lynch. Back up to Worley. Worley to Steph Rurka. Two-on-one opportunity here for Rurka. Wrist shot and a blocker saved by the goaltender. Back in the corner now. Out to the blue line and out of the zone. Claire better with the puck. Better to Stepka. Stepka to Melanson. Has a nice heads up play. Grace Melanson with the puck at the blue line to Megan Stepka. Broken up by Bartko. Bartko in with a wrist shot. Off the blocker of LaCroix. She puts it into the corner. Melanson with the puck now. Looking far side to Lauren Melanson. Lauren with a snapshot gets deflected into the corner. Nighthawks with the puck up the boards and out of the zone. Back to Claire Batter who throws the puck in. Teams are off sides, but the Trojans tag up and the attack is back on. Stepka up to Lauren Melanson. Melanson keeps the puck in the zone and gets it deep. Olmstead for the Nighthawks gets it around the back of their own goal to another waiting defenseman who I can't quite see her number. 
tough to see their jerseys from from not knowing the distance that I talked about before, but it's a white jersey and a and like a maroon color a uh, number. It's tough to see. Carrera from the Nighthawks fires the puck into the zone, and it is picked up by Mackenzie Lynch. Lynch to Harris, who brings the puck back around her own net and trying to gain speed. Reverses around the back of the goal. Abby Harris to Mackenzie Lynch. Lynch to Worley. Worley gets checked along the boards and gets the puck back to Lynch. Pass over to Better. Up to Emma Fitch, who dumps the puck in. Emma Fitch, Steph Rurka, and Tori LaCroix are playing their second game in two days as they were able to uh, help out the JV squad last night in a game up in Massachusetts against uh, uh, Ludlow and I forgot the other. The other anyway, it was a, it was a not a not a good outcome, unfortunately, for the Trojans up there as they fell by a score of eight to one. Steph Rurka getting the only goal for the Trojans in the JV game last night. Puck back in the corner now, and now out to the point where a shot and it's thrown on the goal, and it just just a little bit wide. There's a collision at the blue line, and the puck is waved onside, and now it's up for an icing. And with that whistle blows, we're going to take a quick break here as they reset after the icing. At 2.27 remaining here in the first period, you're watching Trojan Hockey. Tune in, thanks, Simsbury, SCTV Sports. All right, we're back from the New England Ice Arena. Teams are getting ready for an offensive zone faceoff for the Trojans. Oh, here's a backhand opportunity, and it's tipped wide. Another shot, and this time it goes in. She scores. I, I'm going to go with Grace Melanson. I think got that one. She had a backhand. She kind of knocked, knocked it towards the goalie, and I think it hit the goalie sticking through the leg. She's the first one through the handshake, so normally that means that's the goal scorer. So let's give that one the second of the evening to Grace Melanson. The Trojans take a 3 to nothing lead. Just before that goal was scored, I want to say it was Elise Hildebrandt that had the puck and got the puck over to uh, Melanson, who was able to bang it home from the side. I'll have to check the score sheet on that a little bit later to see who actually got the assist on the goal and actually who officially got the goal. Like I said, going through the handshake at the first, going through the handshake line first was uh, Grace Melanson. And if indeed that was her goal, that would be her second of the contest. Puck is down and then won by Simsbury. Put out to do center ice, but right to a Knight Hawk awaiting defenseman Lampson who puts the puck on goal. LaCroix puts it off to the side. Simsbury now breaking the puck out. Claire better over to Megan Stepka. Stepka with the puck at the blue line. Passing it up to Melanson who dumps the puck in. Nisbet around the back of the net challenged by Worley. Nighthawks get the puck out and here they come through center ice. Cross ice pass to nobody except a Trojan player, Mackenzie Lynch, 24. Ooh, there seem to be four or five extra guys on the ice. Great opportunity right now for the Trojans. Wow, what a what a heads-up play by Kate Worley, who just turned on the Jets. And, you know, they say don't stop playing until the whistle blows, and she was able to get a great scoring opportunity. Unfortunately, this time thwarted by the Nighthawk goaltender. We're just under a minute to go here in the first period. And Bartko of the Nighthawks gets the puck in, but she is tagged up by Madigan, who gains control of the puck, and she wraps around the top of the boards. Oh, tipped by Abby Harris out of the zone, and here's an opportunity for the Trojans. Megan Stapka on her backhand and she just can't put it through. It was a nice little move. Goalie was spread all the way out and if she actually got more of it on, you know, more of the stick on the puck, probably was going to bury that one. But through. Here's a shot. I'm sorry, play from the point. That uh, was Madigan who puts it down and it just goes by the stick of Melanson who's looking for the hat trick here in the first period. Shot from the point, tipped in the save by the goaltender. Puck in the corner. Harris challenged by two Nighthawks. Ten seconds remaining. Puck out to center ice. One on one chance here right now, but Emma Fitch with a great back check. Two Trojan players immediately on the Nighthawk, and what a great, great show of back checking right there by Emma Fitch. The horn blows, and the first period.
comes to an end. Score, Trojans three. And the Nighthawks, zero. What a great first period right there. Two goals by Grace Melanson. An overall uh, offensive powerhouse by the girls in blue. We're going to take a break right now. We're in the intermission here between the first and second periods. Coming to you from the Newington Ice Arena, you're, you're watching <laughs> Trojan Hockey on SCTV Sports. All right, once again, good evening and welcome back to the Newington Ice Arena. We are here. Second period action is underway. The puck is dropped, and the Nighthawks immediately bring the puck into the zone. Here's a slap shot from the point. Gets through, and it's pad stave away to by Tori LaCroix into the corner. Nighthawks coach uh, Eric Roy may have said something. He's the assistant coach, but I saw him talking to the girls in between the intermissions, and he uh, must have given him something to say. Here's an opportunity. Wow, by Megan Stepka with a quick snapshot and a pad save by the goaltender. Here's another opportunity right now. Lauren Melanson, she puts it on goal, and the puck is saved and put it over into the corner. Well, just as fast as the Nighthawks came out, the Trojans came right back and answered. Speaking of head coaches, we would like to give a huge shout-out and a happy birthday to assistant coach for the Trojans, Nicole Cornire. Happy birthday, Coach Nicole. I know uh, we're all thinking of you today and wishing you all the best on your special day. 3-0 here. The Trojans are up over the Nighthawks. Goal scores in the first period, two by Grace Melanson and one by Kaylee Melanson. And if... Uh, if you've been following us here on SCTV Sports, you know, we've said this before, there are three Melansons on the team, all cousins, Grace, Lauren, and Kaylee. And, of course, uh, Lauren's dad is Coach Paul Melanson. So pretty easy to do play-by-play -play for this team. If you say it wrong, just say Melanson, and you're probably going to get at least part of it right. Pucks around the back of the net in the defensive zone. Kate Worley with it on her backhand, spins around. She's challenged by Barco down low. Madigan looking up for Melanson. Melanson across the neutral zone. I'm sorry, across their own defensive zone through the middle. Scary pass to Mackenzie Lynch who gets it up to Abby Harris. Back pass to Lynch. Snapshot from the side. Ooh, there's a rebound opportunity for Worley, and it just goes past her stick. Great play right there. Nice little drop pass by Abby Harris to Mackenzie Lynch who got the shot on goal. Ooh, there's a, a let's say, aggressive four check. And we've got Nighthawk players falling, but no call. Here's a pass out front by Melanson. A shot by Hildebrand. A second opportunity by Hildebrand. And this one is gloved down by the Nighthawk goalie. We got a new goalie in the net. I can't see her number at this point. Number 31. So that would be Ariel Ahoyan. And uh, she actually uh, is being tested right off the bat. And coming up big, making some saves. Ironically, I say coming up big because the top of the goal is four feet high, and she almost could fit underneath that crossbar. Tiny little kid, but doing well. And oh, there's a shot from the point, and it goes in. It's a Trojan goal. I'm gonna. We'll see who goes through the handshake on this one. I Great think. I, I it, all right. Well, I'm being told it was Grace Melanson, and if that's the case, that is her hat trick. And it came to her from Megan Stepka on the point. The faceoff was drawn back. Stepka took the shot. Melanson with the tip in front. And that is the third goal of the game. And hat trick. <laughs> My camera guy just almost fell over. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I guess he's really celebrating the third goal by Melanson. <laughs> and the hat trick for Grace. Speaking of it, here she comes again. Grace Melanson with a pass back to Hildebrand. Hildebrand back to Melanson. Pass out front to Melanson. Melanson back <laughs> to the point to Stepka. Stepka with a wrist shot and a glove, I'm sorry, pad save. Rebound opportunity for Melanson and another save. The Nighthawks trying to get the puck out of the zone. Pass through the zone and it gets all the way down. Hand is up for an icing, but it's going to get waved off as Megan Stepka plays the puck up to Lauren Melanson. Melanson just gets the puck out of the zone and is sent right back in on goal. Should have been a whistle. They're still offsides, but the ref is going to let the clock continue. Claire Better passes the puck up looking for Kate Worley, and it's just out of her reach and sent all the way down, and this one does get whistled down for Rising. Let's take a break. You're watching Lady Trojan Hockey. 4 to nothing right now, SCTV Sports. 
All right, puck is down. Ooh, there's an opportunity by the Nighthawks, and it's pad saved, pad saved away. Let's try that again. Pad saved away by LaCroix, who is, uh, we've always referred to, referred to her uh, as having these pinball, like, flipper pads as she kicked the puck into the corner. Kate Worley with the puck behind the net. Challenged by Olmstead. Still has it, though, now. Passes it back to Abby Harris, who walks out. Harris with a snapshot on goal and save by Ohoyan. And here come the Nighthawks now. Two-on-one opportunity. Martko, head of steam. Oh, and a great back check. I'm sorry, a great poke check. By the Trojan defense. And as I'm saying that, and here we come again, down the ice. With a head of steam and... Puck, <laughs> too much steam, I guess, that time because the puck gets bounced around. And to the Nighthawks, who then just dump the puck in and get it for a line change. Ooh, pass across the defensive zone. That's a very dangerous pass. But it was a, an unfortunate uh, play. It didn't have to uh, go on our own goal. That was well said and very articulate by me. But anyway, here comes Abby Harris now over the blue line. She's got Melanson with her. Harris with a shot. And her own rebound and a save by Ahoyan. But into the corner, Harris tries to backhand it to Melanson. And it's picked up by the Nighthawks into the near board's corner. Nighthawks pass the puck out of the zone. Two and a waiting forward and threw her stick all the way back to the Trojan D. The neutral zone now. Puck backhanded into the zone and carried out. Through the neutral zone by Stepka at the dot around the back of the net. She's got bodies in front for help. And Megan Stepka skits the puck all the way into the zone and keeps it down there for a half second. Out to the point where Claire Better gets it down deep. Grace Melanson with the puck behind the back of the net. Out to the point. Stepka back down deep to Melanson. Melanson takes it on her backhand. Looking out front for a pass. Here's a pass to... I think that's Emma Fitch. It is. Melanson again gets the puck. This time it's deflected out to the point, but it's kept in by Stepka. Melanson to Stepka. She's got time. A couple steps in. Around the forward. Slap shot just wide. Nighthawks bring the puck out of the zone. Mackenzie Carrera risks the puck all the way down into the far side. The Trojans once again with a scary, sloppy breakout pass across their own defensive zone. This time it paid off for a half second. But the puck got dumped back in and the Nighthawks were able to tag up. And now they're on the attack. Lansing with the puck around the back of the, uh, her offensive zone. Back out to the point. Clark steps around the defenseman gets a shot off and scores oh it beats LaCroix stick side high I don't even know if Tori saw that one as the shot came from Clark on the point that's Kayla Clark getting the goal and getting the Nighthawks on the board again it was shot through about three or four players from the point I don't even know if LaCroix saw the puck it just went right over her stick side well with 8.57 remaining here in the second period Nighthawks get on the board, but the Trojans are still up by three. There's a big open ice hit, and the ref's got his hand in the air. That one is going to send somebody down for a minute. Here's a backhand opportunity and a goal. He scores. Kaylee Melanson buries it on the backhand after a hit in center ice. Kate Worley was lead out at center ice. The ref had his hand up, and it didn't. Uh, the ref was going to call the penalty, and I do believe and the, uh, this season, if you get called for a penalty, I think you still have to sit down your two-minute penalty. We'll see if they're actually going to make that stick or not. But on the bright side, Kaylee Melanson netting her second as she picked up the loose puck in center ice after the big collision and got around the defenseman with a backhanded shot to beat Ohoyan and answer right away the goal scored by the Nighthawks. The Trojans take the score to 5-1. to one. Simsbury wins the faceoff back to the point. Moved up to Melanson, to Melanson. <laughs> Grace now takes a shot, rebound. 
and gets on the stick of the defensive Nighthawks, who put the puck into the corner. Out through center, Bartko, challenged by Lynch, puck tipped into the corner. Bartko back to Murphy. Murphy in the corner. Around the back of the net. Nighthawks gaining some control now. Out to the point with a shot. Oh, there's a player in front of the net, but LaCroix getting a pat on it. Around the back of the goal, Mackenzie Lynch gets back, hands it up to Grace Melanson now. Melanson with a head of steam. She's got help with her and the likes of Elise Hildebrand. There's a pass to Hildebrand, and it's tipped towards the goal. The puck is still loose. Lauren Melanson digging now. Still digging, still digging. No whistle, and this time it's finally covered by the Nighthawk goaltender. Ah, what a great play right there by the Simsbury forwards. You had Grace Melanson, who got the puck up into the zone, and it was over to Elise Hildebrandt, who got the initial shot, and then there was two or three rebound opportunities by Lauren Melanson um, before it was covered by the Nighthawks. Oh, Hoyan. Off the face, off the puck is fired high off the glass and down out of the zone into the offensive zone for the Nighthawks. Back to the point. Here's a shot. A lazy save by LaCroix. Pass up to Rurka. Can't get it out of the zone. Step, Stefka loses it off to, I'm sorry, she, yeah, she gave it up to a Nighthawk forward who was coming around the back of the net. Nighthawks keep the puck in the zone. Lumia around the back of the net with the puck. She's got help on the point. Clark scored their only goal. Gets a shot and deflected in front by Rurka. And out come the Trojans. Abby Harris now across the red line. Dumps the puck in on goal. And the goalie covers it for a whistle. Let's take a break. 6.34 here remaining in the second period. The Trojans up uh, by a score of 5-1. to one. And you're watching Lady Trojan Hockey on SCTV Sports. All right, welcome back to the Newington Ice Arena. The Trojans are up 5-1 to one right now against the Nighthawks of Avon, Southington, East Granby, and Ram. Grace Melanson winning the faceoff and doing it all by herself right now. She gets back to Lynch. Lynch on the point. Slap shot tipped into the corner. Grace Melanson with the puck on her backhand. Gets knocked down. Yeah, ref's hand goes up. We're going to have a power play coming up for the Trojans as soon as the Nighthawks touch the puck. There they go. Grace is okay. She gets up. She's arching her back a little bit, but seems uh, to be in working order. And the Nighthawks are going to get at least two. Looks like two minutes for cross-checking. So the Trojans put their version of the power play unit out there. It is the power play unit. You've got Kaylee Melanson on the right wing. You've got Kate Worley at center and Grace Melanson on the left wing. Melanson working hard. Keep it in. Oh, <laughs> there's a Trojan collision at the blue line, which gives an opportunity for the Nighthawks to send the puck all the way down the ice. Mackenzie Lynch now around the back of the net to Lindsay Madigan. Madigan into Kaylee Melanson. Kate Worley to Grace Melanson. Grace to Kate. Kate, shot, scores! Oh, what a great little tic-tac-toe play right there by the Lady Trojans as Kate Worley shoots it glove side high and gets the goal. Nice passing right there by Kaylee Melanson and Grace Melanson to set up Worley for the goal. It's a power play goal with 541 remaining. The Trojans have taken a 6-1 to lead. I'd have to go back and look at the tape to see where the breakout started, but the the, uh, the f bringing the puck through the neutral zone, you could just see that there was like a play just developing in front of us, which it did, and resulting in that goal. Mackenzie Lynch firing it on net and skating on hard and giving the goalie a little bit of a snow show as she covers it up for a whistle. And Trojan's trying to change their D, and uh, the refs not having anything of it. And they say, nope, get back on the ice. You guys can take a break in a minute. But right now, get back out there. You got to play. There's the faceoff, and the Nighthawks win it. Yeah. 
Madigan with the puck near her own blue line. Passing it up to Lauren Melanson, who can't control it. The Nighthawks get the puck in. Oh, get the puck in, but are challenged immediately. And the attack is thwarted for the moment. I think that's Madigan. Yeah, Lindsay Madigan working very hard. And this time getting the puck up to Lauren Melanson. Melanson over the red line. She's got Abby Harris with her now. Harris now on a breakaway. On the forehand. Snapshot and a glove save by Ahoyan. Here's an opportunity again by... Oh, the Trojans. The puck is passed out front. And Elise Hildebrand bangs it home. He scores. Well, that play was started right there. Abby Harris had the breakaway. She missed the initial attempt. The puck around. Uh, it was a great save by Ahoyan. Puck went in on the back of the net. Managed to get it out front. There was an initial opportunity, I guess a secondary opportunity that wasn't banged home. But at least Hildebrandt was there to pick up the third rebound and bury it for the Trojans' seventh goal of this contest. Here's a shot and a rebound by the Nighthawks. And a left pad saved by LaCroix. Puck now in the far corner. I see three white jerseys and two blue jerseys on the puck, <laughs> which means there's a lot of open ice right now. Around the back of the net. Lumia looking for it. She gets it in front, and it's broken out by Claire Better. Well, it wasn't broken out. It was actually kept in right there by the Nighthawks, and it's still in the near zone. Sorry, near corner of the defensive zone. Megan Stepka up the boards. And here come the Trojans out. Two on one opportunity. Stepka on her forehand. Backhand pass opportunity. Looking for Emma Fitch. Can't quite get her stick on the puck. At the center ice, Trojans are offside. Still offside as they try a line change, but the door is about 15 feet inside the zone. So. You could try to get tricky with that, but you're going to caught it. With that being said, same situation happened on the far side, but nothing really comes of it as Madigan has the puck, skates up the zone, takes a wrist shot, and it gets ticked aside by Ahoyan. Grace Melanson looking out front for Abby Harris. Can't connect. Puck goes all the way back out into the neutral zone. Madigan up the boards to Harris. Nighthawks now into their offensive zone. Get a shot tipped into and behind the defensive zone. And here come the Trojans. Now Grace Melanson. <laughs> Melanson had a head of steam, but the puck was just that much too far ahead of her. The Nighthawks looking for a breakout pass. And they set it all the way down. And, well, LaCroix plays the puck, so there's no icing. And then covers it, I want to say, for the second time this game. And gets the whistle. 2.46 remaining here in the second period. Trojans up 7-1. to one. It has been an offensive explosion by the Lady Trojans that we haven't seen yet this season, but it's really good to see it here on our first road game of the season. Hit the Newington Ice Arena. Off the face, off in a drive, and a big kick save by LaCroix. In the corner now. Mackenzie Lynch around the back of the net. Oop. Player goes down on her own. No call. Puck dumped in. Nighthawks are offsides. Need to tag up. Around the back of the net is Lindsay Madigan now. Lindsay Madigan passing the puck up to Elise Hildebrandt. Puck's not out of the zone. Kept in by Bartko. Whistle blows in there, whistling it down for a hand pass. My trusty... Camera guy said that it should have been called a high stick, but they blew it down for a, well, ref signaled hand pass, pucks coming down into the defensive zone. I'm going to have to check the Nihoa rules on that one. Maybe that a hand pass now is the same thing as a high stick. Uh, and then the fact that the faceoff comes all the way down into the defensive zone. Here's a draw back by Melanson to Better. Better gets the puck into the corner to Hildebrand. Puts it in front for Harris. It gets played away by the defenseman. Better to Hildebrandt, to Harris. Lots of bodies down in the corner. Better tried to take the puck to her offense, uh, to her forehand and put it on goal, but it's broken up by the Nighthawk defenseman. Puck now in center ice, right in front of the scorekeeper's box or penalty box if you're being bad. 
Oh, it's an opportunity for the Nighthawks. His end shoots, and it just gets tipped over the net by defenseman Claire Better. That was a sloppy breakout pass right there by the Trojans. But uh, great play by Better on D. Here's Abby Harris now over the blue line. Snapshot on a goal. Rebound, and it doesn't go. Here come the Nighthawks now. Lumia with the puck, and she's immediately challenged by Mackenzie Lynch. And another defensive play thwarted by the Trojans. Center ice now. Oh, there was an opportunity for Melanson to get her third of the game. Around back of the net. Passed out front by Worley. Deflected out by the defenseman and through neutral zone. Trojans trying to go D to D and this time went D to goalie instead. Off the boards and out of the zone. Kate Worley. He's got Kaylee Melanson off of her backhand. A little bit too far ahead of her. Out of her reach. Kept, oh, nope, not kept in by Lynch. Ref was right on top of that, so you can't really argue that call. He was standing right behind the players on the blue line, and that was the play. This puck's head down, but waved off. We're going to say that it was probably waved off because she probably could have played the puck. We had plus we're under 10 seconds to go in the period. Here's an opportunity for Kayla Melanson. Can she beat the buzzer? And the answer is no. The second period comes to an end. Trojans are up 7-1. to one. The Zambonis are about to come out here and do their dance. And with that, we're going to take a break. You're watching the Lady Trojans Varsity Hockey right here on SCTV Sports. We'll see you at the start of the third period. Well, welcome back to the Newington Ice Arena here. We're getting ready for a third period action. I was talking to my camera guy, Mark, and also uh, I'm trying to put him on as my color guy, but he doesn't want to talk in the microphone. But he's saying one thing that he's noticed, that the Trojans are doing a wonderful job this game with uh, getting in the passing lanes, getting their sticks in the passing lanes, their bodies in the passing lanes, and really shutting down much of the offensive opportunities for the Nighthawks. And uh, that's key. That's key right now. And, and the score is the Trojans are up 7-1. to one. Of course, don't, let's not forget the offensive power. The hat trick by Grace Melanson. Two by Kaylee Melanson. And Kate Worley's in on that one, too. And uh, that gives us what, what, six. I'm missing one. There's another one in there, too. I'm not sure who got that one. I got to do the, do the math. But puck is down. We're at third period action now. Bartko from the Nighthawks with the puck. She stick handles into the zone. A lot of water out there. And oh, and a shot saved by LaCroix. It was up high into the Simsbury logo, but LaCroix was right on top, but that one saw it all the way. Another sloppy pass through the defensive zone right up the middle. Got to be careful doing that because any team that's uh, really paying attention and gets... A little smart to that. They're going to be able to jump on that pass right away. Like we talked about that in the first game of the season back at the ISCC. And uh, the Greenwich Cardinals were able to capitalize on this a couple times with just that type of scenario. Here come the Nighthawks now. Nah, doesn't gain the blue line. Sends it down. Good call by the referee who whistles it down for an icing. For those of you who aren't everyday hockey fans, you have to to get over the red line before you dump the puck in and send the puck all the way down the length of the ice or you'll get called for icing just like the Nighthawks got called there. We got some mixed lines out there for the Trojans <laughs> this third period. Trying something new, Coach Melanson. Puck wrapped around the back of the net. To Kate Worley, who's playing defense right now. Abby Harris with the puck at center ice, passing it back to Claire Better. Better to Worley. Worley to Lynch, who's on forward now. She gets the puck to the hash marks, takes a snapshot, and a save. Oh, puck's loose, and it gets out to the point. Over to Better. Wrist shot on goal, blocker save. Puck's loose, rebound opportunity by Steph Rurka, who puts it through the crease and can't quite bury it. Puck in the corner now. Steph Rurka with it. Nope. She doesn't quite get it. But the puck is kept in the zone by Claire Better. Abby Harris tips it in. 
And this time it does come out and gets caught in the skates of Abby Harris. And she's caught offsides. Two minutes into the third period here. Trojan still up 7-1. to one. It's been pointed out that, like we just talked about a minute ago, Coach Melanson is changing some lines up, trying some new things. And with that being said, we see defenseman Megan Stepka taking the face off. She is flanked by Elise Hildebrandt. And I uh, can't see who's on the I think it's Lauren Melanson on the far side. And it is. Puck is dumped down. And this one's, nope, waved off. No icing. Sarah Murphy takes the puck around the back of her net. Challenged by Elise Hildebrandt. I think Hildebrandt's one of the, got the other goal, isn't it? I, I believe, yeah. So that, that does our math. It equals all up now, folks. Melanson, Melanson, Worley, and Hildebrandt. There's all seven of them. Speaking of which, Grace Melanson has the puck around the back of the net as she passes it over to Lindsay Madigan. Madigan looking for Hildebrandt. Broken up by the Nighthawks for a brief second, but now an opportunity for the Trojans. Stepko with her shot and a blocker save by the Nighthawk goalie. I do believe they've changed goalies once again. i got to get the number on this one. Oh, and there's a shot from the point, and it's in the pads. Puck is loose for a brief second. The goalie sits back and gets the puck uh, trapped underneath her for a brief second for just enough time for a whistle. Logan Latta is the goaltender right now for the Avon Southington East Granby Ram Nighthawks. Off the draw, won by the Nighthawks. Puck pushed out to neutral zone. Claire Better has the puck on her offense. I'm sorry, on her forward. I've said that twice tonight. Screwed it up. <laughs> Melanson trying to get it out of the zone has trouble beating the blue line as it takes her down twice for no call. Offsides brought out by Kaylee Melanson. She's at the top of the circle, and it gets tipped away by a Nighthawk defenseman. Out of zone. Here comes Barco. Barco through center ice. Tries to skate through everybody. He's doing a pretty good job. Still has control of the puck. Kerry Barco gets it back to the point. And that's it. Oh, ref's hand goes in the air. Trojans touch the puck. And it looks like we are heading to the sin bin for two. Not sure who he's calling it on. It's definitely a Simsbury penalty. And it looks as if... Is that Kelly? Yeah, Kelly Melanson is heading to the box. Two minutes for hooking. All right, well, we're back underway here. Now the Nighthawks have has their first power play of the game. There's only been two penalties called this game, unlike our previous three that we've we've been with you here on SCTV, or previous two that we've been with you at SCTV Sports. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a lot of penalties called in those games, but only two so far. Nighthawks with the puck in there, cycling it around on their power play. Around the back of the net is number 12. I don't have her number on my roster. Back out to the point. Lance controls it at the top of the circle. Takes a step in by the hash marks and fires one high over the net. Murphy, looking for somebody out front. Gets on the step stick of Mackenzie Lynch, who fires it all the way down and clears the zone. Trojans take the opportunity to change up, as do the Nighthawks, as the puck is brought through center ice. Cross ice pass. To Schlosser. Around the back of the net, Lindsay Madigan now with control. She stick handles her way out of the zone and makes a pass up the ice looking for Mackenzie Lynch who tried to catch it on her backhand and tipped off her stick. And when I lay down, ooh, there's a bang play down deep in the zone. Mackenzie Lynch throwing a crossbody check. Not really, but that's what it looked like if you're watching it pretty quick. There's a couple chances by Grace Melanson trying to score on Tori LaCroix, it looked like. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> she didn't quite get control of the puck and bounced it off the side of her own goal. Then the Trojans send it back down. 15 seconds remaining here in the penalty. 9.30 remaining here in the third period. Trojans are up by six. And Nighthawks 
try to get the puck out of the zone and can't. Kept in by Lauren Melanson. Jenna Lindinger with a backhanded pass up to Sarah Murphy. Murphy now back to Lindinger. Lindinger gets the puck into the corner and it's broken up by Lindsay Madigan. Madigan stick handles her way around the defenseman. Backhands it up to awaiting Melanson who loses control at the blue line. Back into all the way down to the zone. Grace Melanson looking for a pass to awaiting Lynch. Lynch stick handles backhand to forehand. But she was up against a stronger Nighthawk defenseman. Kept in by a better. Better into the corner around the back of the net. Attended for Rurka, but moves a little bit too fast and gets past her. Claire better now. With the puck by the Zamboni doors. Nice move. Getting over backhand and around the defenseman. Up to the point to Steph Rurka who gets the puck out of the zone. Steph Rurka now through the neutral zone. Puts it in the offensive zone. Nighthawks with the puck in their defensive zone. Bartko now across the blue line and through the center ice. Challenged by Abby Harris. Bartko gets around her. Makes a cross ice pass with a shot on goal and sticked aside by LaCroix. Mackenzie Lynch with the puck now. In the defensive zone. She's got a head of steam. Cross center ice. Skating the puck into the zone. She comes to the top of the circle with a shot and it gets deflected and almost beats the goalie glove side but doesn't and it goes wide. Lynch ties the puck up behind the back of the net. Nighthawks win that battle. Come out with it. Kept in by Worley at the point. Now out two on one opportunity. Great back check by Kate Worley there. And forces Rice to dump the puck in around the back of her own net and gets off the ice for a line change. Here come the Trojans now. Abby Harris. Back of the net. <laughs> back and forth passes are not connecting. It's looking a little sloppy right now, but things are still working out in our favor. Harris. With a cross ice pass, looking for Emma Fitch, just a little bit too far ahead of her, goes all the way down, no icing. Nighthawks try to get the puck in the zone for a line change. Grace Melanson tips it out to Lindsay Madigan. Madigan with the puck now. Cross ice pass to Kaylee Melanson, who tips it into the neutral zone. Grace Melanson in the back of the net. Reverses to her backhand. Looking for the other Melanson. Going on her backhand. Goes down. No call. Megan Stepka now. Cross center ice with the puck. She's got Emma Fitch with her. Oh, just outside the reach of Fitch. Can't quite do anything. Madigan with it. Back to Melanson. Melanson to Fitch. Fitch cross center ice. Here's an opportunity for the freshman. Wrist shot and a glove save by Lada. Ice passing right there by Grace Melanson. Passing it up to Emma Fitch, the freshman, who got the puck in over the blue line and took a wrister right into the bread basket of the waiting Nighthawk goaltender. 5.52 remaining here in the third period. Trojans up 7-1. to one. We're coming to you from the Newington Ice Arena here in Newington, Connecticut. That's right, it's our first game on the road. Oh, here's an opportunity right now for the Nighthawks. Over the blue line, great back to Kate Worley. Has a shot, and it's blockered away by Toy LaCroix into the corner. One thing these teams have got to figure out, it's tough to get it past the blocker of LaCroix. Here's an opportunity now for Elise Hildebrandt. Looking for her second of the night. She's got the puck on her backhand. Right by the hash marks. Takes a wrist shot. Deflected down by a waiting defenseman, Lumia, who gets the puck out towards the Simsbury D. Kept in by Worley. Here's a pass by Harris across the crease and into the far side. Bartko now with the puck around the back of the net. She's got some wheels and is able to get out and move the puck up the ice to a waiting Lampson. Lampson now. Top of the circle by the hash marks. Takes a weird angled shot, but it gets knocked down again by LaCroix. Rurka, backhand to Fitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's uh, Lynch. Mackenzie Lynch now with the puck. Mackenzie Lynch with the puck. Whoop. <laughs> Dingles and dangles and puts her whole team off sides for a second, but has enough 
head on her shoulders to continue to keep the puck out of the zone and work it back to her D. That was actually a great play after the initial, oops, I'm sorry, I'll put you off sides by Mackenzie Lynch. Kate Worley with the puck. Backhands it up the Rurka. That's Stepka, who's got a step on the defenseman. Gets the puck around the back and just challenge. Now there's yep, one, two, three jersey, three white jerseys on top of Megan Stepka, who seems to be doing a lot of the work by herself. Top of the hash marks. Here's a shot tipped in front. Controlled by the Trojans for an opportunity and can't finish it is Mackenzie Lynch. That was, uh, uh, was almost a gift right there as she had the puck in front. But the goaltender, Latta, had enough sense to close her legs and keep the puck out of the net. 3.57 remaining here in the third. Trojans up 7-1. to one. I'm not sure what you're laughing at. My camera guy's laughing at me. I'm not sure what I did or said on that point. But Grace Melanson has got the puck, and she forehands it out of the zone. Kaylee Melanson. Oh, she's still looking for her third. I'm not sure she's going to get it right now, but that was a hat-trick opportunity right there. And it was tipped away by Olmstead. Here's another opportunity right now for Madigan. Another good defensive play by the Nighthawks, who, for, who just poke-checked the puck right off of Lindsay Madigan's stick. Dumped in the zone. LaCroix plays it off to Stepka. Stepka to Melanson. Lumia now with the Nighthawks. Up to Bartko over the blue line. She gets through the defenseman and it's poked away by Lindsay Madigan. Good defensive play right there. Bartko takes two strides and runs right into a waiting zebra. Around the back of the net, Melanson. Gets hit. Oh, yeah, I can't do that one. Looks like Lumia is going to get two. Is she all right? Taking a second to get up is senior captain Kaylee Melanson. Looks like she's okay. But we're going to get a checking call here on Isabella Lumia, who's going to sit for two. Take an opportunity right now to wish everybody a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Our next broadcast will come to you after the holiday. So hope everybody has a safe and joyous Christmas. As we just recently finished up Hanukkah, so happy holidays to every happy holidays out there to everybody. And uh, not sure if we're actually going to be coming back at you before the New Year. So if we don't, happy New Year at the same time. Two twenty nine remaining here. Trojans going on the power play with the score seven to one. Simsbury. Here's the face off, and it's one back. Declare better. Better with the puck. Looking into the corner for Worley. Worley on the forehand. Gets poked away into the corner. Kate Worley back to Claire Better. Better to Stepka. Stepka, wrist shot. Off the pads and out of the zone. Better to Stepka. Stepka to Better. Better to Stepka. Stepka to Better. Back up to the red line. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was yeah. That was Hildebrand, not Stepka. It sounded better when I was saying it, though. Sorry about that, girls. I got your names mixed up. Buck in the corner to Kate Worley. Worley stick handles around the defense, but gets it back to Mega Stepka. Slap shot from the point and a save by the goaltender. All right, Hawks got the puck and wrist it all the way down. 132 remaining here in the third period. Trojans up by six. Breakout pass. Goes all the way down and onto a white stick. Melanson up the Fitch. Emma Fitch gets the puck knocked off her stick. Ref takes a tumble in the zone. Once again, can't call a penalty on the blue line. Kate Worley to Abby Harris. Harris on a back hit looking for Emma Fitch. And, oh, nice play, nice idea. But there was a waiting Nighthawk. Just on the backside, waiting to pick that play off. 
in the zone is Lindsay Madigan who gets a puck back to Kate Worley. Worley with the bit. <laughs> Walking through, puts it in front, and can't get past the goaltender, is Emma Fitch. Puck gets it all the way down to Grace Melanson. 35 seconds remaining here in the third period. Grace Melanson with the hat trick tonight. She just gets the puck out of the zone. It's a three, a four on two opportunity. Grace back to Emma Fitch, who shoots, and it just goes wide. 20 seconds remaining here in the third. Trojans looking to go into their holiday break with another W. Here come the Nighthawks now. Lindinger deflects off her stick out to Melanson. Melanson looking for Lynch. Gets the puck dumped in the corner. Ooh, there's a hard play into the corner. But it is all over, folks. Your Lady Trojans have got their second W in a row. Uh, what a game right there by the Simsbury Trojans. Hat trick by Grace Melanson. Two goals by Kaylee Melanson. Kate Worley getting one. Lindsay Madigan getting one. Do the math, folks. I think that's all seven. Tori LaCroix stopping all but one in the net. Once again, a very happy birthday to assistant coach Nicole Cornier. Happy birthday, coach. And from all of us here at SCTV Sports, we're going to wish you guys a very happy holiday. We'll be back in a minute to wrap this up from the Newington Ice Arena. We'll be back. You're watching Lady Trojan Hockey on SCTV Sports. The Trojans with an offensive show of fireworks tonight as they put seven past a uh, two goaltender effort by the Nighthawks. Three goals by Grace Melanson, two goals by Kaylee Melanson, Lindsay Madigan, and Kate Worley getting the other two. Do the math. That's right. Seven goals put on by the Trojans tonight. What a great uh, showing by the girls. In goal, Tori LaCroix putting aside all but the one shot. It was a wrist shot from the point that got through past her stick side high and uh, probably through a couple defensemen not really sure if she saw much of that great overall effort tonight by the Trojans as they're heading into their holiday break right now Saturday's game uh, against Coggenchog Old Lime and Han has been postponed uh, due to some scheduling conflicts so we're going to be back here on SCTV Sports I think if we've got one before the new year but if not a very happy holidays hanukkah is over christmas is uh this coming monday not sure when this game is going to be airing but from when we're taping this game tonight i'd like to say very merry christmas to everybody huge thank you to everybody back at the SCTV studios Kristen and Karen for letting us use the equipment. Kristen for, of course, doing all the editing. Big thanks to my brother Mark Berrien behind the camera. I'm Frankie Berrien on behalf of the Simsbury High School Varsity Lady Trojans. Final score tonight, 7-1 to here in Newington. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. SCTV Sports. I'm Frankie Berrien. Have a good night. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.